So how you edit in Photopea mobile is slightly different to if you were on a desktop or a laptop computer. In that, a lot of the um, panels have been abbreviated. So down the right hand side are some of the panels that you would see in full on the desktop laptop version, okay? But they're kind of abbreviated and they're made a little bit short, so it, it makes it look a little bit complicated. So this is what I do when I'm using Photopea Mobile. And if I'm being honest, I use Photopea Mobile more than I use the desktop version, okay? So the first thing as I do is I click on the um, zoom tool and make my picture a little bit bigger. You can actually zoom in and out just by using your fingers on your device and zoom in and out that way. But the reason why I do that is that when I open up my layers panel, which is here on the right hand side, lay for layers, it kind of covers up most of the picture. So it's important to try and get the picture as big as you can. So I'm going to click down the bottom. You can see a semicircle or a circle rather that's been chopped in half into a semicircle and I'm going to click on that and that brings up your layers panel. The first thing I'm going to do is click on the brightness contrast. Okay, so then I move my brightness up. It is delayed. You've got to understand that about this version. It is delayed. So you might drag your finger along there, but it takes a split second for it to respond. You've just got to get used to that. Um, after a while, it just becomes normal. Okay, now what I'm doing is I am bringing up my brightness and my contrast to make the brightness of the white in the background of that image really spring out. And you can see now why it was important for me to zoom in on my image so that you could actually see the image behind that. Right, when I'm happy that I've got it the right correct um, levels, I click on Pro down the right hand side and it gets rid of that panel off my image so I can zoom out. And I can zoom back in again if I wanted to, but you can, oops, that's too much. Let me zoom back in. Okay. If I didn't like that and I wanted to get rid of that layer, I can go back on my lay panel, my layers panel on this right hand side. And you can see there that brightness contrast is on top of my background. It's selected. I've just clicked on background, that's selected. But if I click on brightness contrast, down the bottom, you can see what looks like a little rubbish bin. You can click on that and it will delete that layer off there. So if you start editing and put layers on and you decide you don't like those layers, that your adjustment layers that you've put on, you can always go back and you can get rid of it later. So I'm actually gonna add another adjustment layer to this. So I'm gonna show you a few different adjustment layers that you can add to your um, images. So I'm gonna go back onto the adjustment layer panel, which is the circle at the bottom chopped in half. And the first one I'm going to use is the gradient map. So let me find that, it is down the bottom there, click on gradient map, it takes a few seconds to think about it. It always defaults to a sort of grey effect, black, grey, black, white, grey effect. If I click on that um, gradient, just that little shape underneath the gradient map, you can change some of the, the features in there. I'm going to press OK, but if you click on the little arrow next to it, it opens up a variety of other different types of things that you can do. So if I click on that one, you can see that I, I get quite a striking effect. If I click on a different one, you get that kind of effect. And there's lots of different effects in there. And then if you click on the, the little section next to the drop down arrow, it opens it up in here and you can do some minute tweaks to the colors that you want to appear in there. Once you're happy, press OK. And then click on the Pro bottom which is on the right hand side to get rid of that panel off your image and you get to see oops I zoomed in then again zoomed in zoom back out again zoom back out there I am okay move it down um, and I'm happy with that actually I'm not so I'm going to do what I showed you before I'm going to click on lay I'm going to click on the gradient map and I'm going to go down to the rubbish bin at the bottom and I'm going to click on that rubbish bin and it will remove it if I click on lay again you can see that it's been removed I'm going to click on lay click on the adjustment tool at the bottom and I'm this time I'm going to use vibrance so I click on the vibrance option it takes a few seconds to think about it then you can tinker about with the vibrance so you can the vibrance is to do with the color of the image so you can move that up you can move the saturation up there is a delay so it 
does it does take a bit of time to get used to it but keep moving that up keep moving the other one up and you will see that some of those colors will start to really ping out i'm going to click on pro to have a look at that image without the, that panel on top and i'm going to get rid of it so i can show you another one I'm always keeping the brightness and contrast though because I need to do that. That background was a bit greyed out before I tinkered with the brightness and contrast. I'm going to do another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to do a photo filter. So I tap it, takes a, a little bit of time to think about it. And you can change the colour of the photo filter. So at the moment, it always seems to be the default set to that orange for some reason. But you can choose a colour. I want to maybe choose a pink colour press OK. You can see that there is a slight hue of pink going on on my image just behind that panel. But if I untick preserve luminosity, there's a far more colour gets placed onto the image that I can drag it down if I don't want as much colour. And I can keep dragging it. There's a little bit of a delay. And then that will, if I get rid of um, that layers panel by clicking on Pro, you can see that I've added like quite a strange pinky effect on the background of that image. I'm going to go back to lay for layers. I'm going to delete that photo filter by selecting it and pressing the rubbish bucket down the bottom and get rid of it. Takes a few seconds. I'm going to click on the adjustment panel and this time I'm going to do threshold. So this is the last one I'm going to show you. So threshold is near the bottom. There it is. Press threshold. Takes a few seconds to think about it. Um, threshold I think is quite cool. Um, if you go too far one way, so if I drag it all the way to what the other side, it makes it all white. If I drag it all the way up to the other way, it will make it go black. But if I start dragging it down ever so slightly and bring out some of those in-between colours, you can get quite a cool effect. Well, anyway, that's it. Have a go on your mobile device using the adjustment panel in Photop. When you have finished all of your images and you're happy with them, you go to File, Export as a JPEG, and save it to your device. Have fun!